Nice. Sports Money News, Stone of Television. I got a little special segment it's called Billy Goes Off. We got a couple topics. People have recently told me to do a little something about. Uh, we got fat chicks and leggings, computer tough guys, and uh, girls that complain that there's no good guys left. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty uh, interesting little segment. So uh, first, let me give you a little taste of what I'm talking about, about these fat chicks and tight clothes. Even I cringe just looking at those pictures. It's absolutely disgusting. I question to myself all the time. How do you feel good walking out of your house knowing that you're stuffed more than the bird on Thanksgiving? You are literally stuffing your legs into something that's busting out the size. It's not a good look. All right. I almost feel that Victoria's Secret should step up and put a weight limit on their yoga pants, all right? Because even those, they're miracle-working pants. But if you're over a certain weight, they're not helping you. You're folding over inside the pants. Not even God can help you at some point. The only thing that's going to help you is getting your fat fucking ass on the treadmill and doing your damn thing. All right, I don't have a problem with fat people. It happens, you know what I mean? People have slow metabolism. But own up to the fact that you're fat, all right? If It's almost as bad as the fat guy that stuffs himself into a wife beater. Honest to God, it might be even a little bit worse, all right? And then you see these girls with these tight shirts on. It looks like they have breasts on their back. It's fucking disgusting. Nobody wants to see it. Nobody should have to see it. It's America, the land of the free. We should not be slaves to the sight that you're giving us. It's fucking disgusting, all right? Do the world a favor. You literally, legitimately look like the black version of the Michelin Man on each one of your legs. It's disgusting. My next topic that I'm going to get into is the computer tough guys. There's nothing worse than going on dear Facebook, trying to have a good day, log in, say hi to some of your peeps, maybe post a little status, and you see some cornball, maybe 120 pounds soaking wet, 5 foot 5, or somebody that you just know gets their ass whooped all the time. And what do they do? They get these keyboard balls and they start talking shit. Bro, I'll take that keyboard that you're typing to me on and I'll smash you in your fucking head with it. And then I'll strangle you with the mouse. And then what are you going to do? You're not going to be a computer tough guy then. How huh? you think you're safe because you're behind a keyboard? One day, somebody's going to walk outside the house and bam, the bill's going to be there. And guess what? It wasn't worth talking shit on Facebook, was it? Because half these people don't say anything to you. 90% of these people. But for some reason, Facebook gives these people these balls of steel. Don't do it. Because one day, you're going to run into that person that you're talking shit to, and you're going to get hurt. Don't talk shit if you can't back it up. It's been a common theme since since I can ever remember. You don't talk shit if you can't back it up. And for my third topic, and I really don't want to get too into this one because I might say some things that are very rude. But girls complaining that there is no good guys. How do you expect to find a good guy? If you fucked 40 of them, no guy wants to be with some girl that smashed all the homies. No guy wants to be with some girl that can't keep her legs closed enough. All right, just because a guy takes you on one nice dinner and buys you one bottle of wine does not mean that you've been wined and dined, all right? Especially if it's at some type of half-class steakhouse, all right? He didn't take you to some fancy restaurant. Don't get your panties all wet over it. It's not that big of a deal. But the reality of it all is, is you don't even have to do that for girls nowadays. All you have to do is buy some cheap $15 bottle, bring them to some type of a little party, and let them feel like they're on top of the world and the rest will happen. Girls have no respect for themselves nowadays, all right? And do I blame the guys? I blame the guys partly. But the reason that guys are all assholes is because they tried to be good to girls. And you know what those girls did when those guys tried to be good to them? They fucking fucked them, used them for what they were worth, and then left them. And then they go on Facebook, I can't find a good guy. Well, you have a good guy that's texting your phone crying to you right now, but you're ignoring him. So blame your fucking self. Blame yourself for the fact that you're alone. The only reason that somebody's lonely is because they don't want to find somebody, but they still want people to give them that attention. Oh, it's so sad that you're... No, it's not sad that you're alone. If you're a pretty girl, there is no reason that you should be alone. If you're an ugly girl, there's no reason that you should be alone. Dude, I see plenty of ugly couples that are out there. Fucking ugly loves ugly, and they work out fine. But you know something? For all you girls that are pretty, and you keep fucking all these guys, and going to all these parties, and doing all this shit, 
Think about why the guy doesn't want you. It's because you're a fucking whore. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say about these topics. So, uh, like I said, fatties, put on some sweatpants. Guys, don't get those computer balls. And girls, quit complaining that there's no good guys because you fucking ruined them all for yourself. Thank you.